So here we are. Welcome back to Novia Theatres. I'm Brian. I'm Stephanie. And today we're eating at Haleo in Disney Springs. Yes, and uh, if you can't tell, it's a little rainy. My hair looked nice. This is post fact, so um, we were in a little bit of rush to get here. We were running a little late due to traffic and rain, uh, but we made it to our reservation and we're gonna go inside and eat. Yeah, try it out. So we'll see you inside. We're seated and we have placed our order. We are going to be doing the Magical Dining uh, this month. Uh, it runs from August through October in the Orlando area and there's many different restaurants and there's quite a few in Disney Springs that you can choose from. So I chose to order the traditional pan con tomate y queso manchego, which is toasted slices of bread brushed with fresh tomatoes served with manchego cheese. Then I did the pinchitos de sandia con tomate y reducción de PX. I don't know what that means. So anyway, it's a skewer of watermelon and cherry tomatoes with a reduction of PX. And then I did the setas al ajillo, which is sauteed mushroom and garlic and white wine sauce. And then I did the paella del dia, which is a chicken, uh, I can't remember what other protein, and then uh, shrimp paella. I guess they change it every day depending on the chef's feelings. And then for dessert, I ordered the pan con chocolate. And that is chocolate custard with caramelized bread, olive oil, and brioche ice cream. And all of this is only $37 per person. We did get the uh, magical dining, as Stephanie had said. And I'm, you get three choices of, uh, looks like five different, um, I don't know, appetizers, tapas. Uh, so I got the gazpacho, which is a classic chilled Spanish soup. Uh, made with tomatoes, cucumbers, and peppers. And I got the espinaca, which is uh, sauteed spinach with uh, pine nuts, raisins, and apples. And I got the, uh, the piquillo rellenos, which are seared piquillo peppers filled with goat cheese. That sounds really good. I'm excited for that. And then I got the gambas al ajillo, which is uh, shrimp sauteed with garlic. And for my dessert, I got the classic Spanish custard called flan al estilo tradicional, which means traditional style flan. Um, but yeah, can't wait to try it and uh, let you guys know how everything is. Okay, so my cold cucumber soup has arrived. And I'll try it with the little microgreens. It's good, it's tangy. Um, almost a little bit tart, but you get some of the little pieces of onion and tomato inside that they put fresh in there before they pour the soup in. So for me, the soup has a really big um, cucumber flavor to it. Almost a little bit of like a spice. I don't know if that's the field greens or like the green peppers that are inside, but um, not, not spicy, but there's like a, it's probably the green peppers, the bell peppers. And then I'll give the pant con tomate. See if it's better than what we had at, uh, what was that place called? Cafe Tutu Tango. It's pretty good. It's got the saltiness from the butter, a really light uh, tomato, and then the cheese has got another like little bit of saltiness, but with the creaminess of the cheese. It's pretty good. I like it. So I'm gonna try the pan de tomate. I just went to Spain in 2020, and this is good. Nowhere near what they serve in Spain, though. Like, in Spain, the toast is toasted, almost like burnt, and the cheese is thicker, and um, fresher, I don't know how to say it. Like, I'm, this looks like this cheese has been processed, so. It's hard to be a big fan of it when you've had the original. What are your thoughts? Is it cold? I mean, yeah. yeah. So the estinaca has arrived. I'm gonna Ooh. give it a try. Try to get all of the ingredients. A little raisin, a little apple. Spinach, whatever this is. It's a warm salad. I was expecting it to be cold. 
but it's warm and and the apples aren't really sweet so I don't get a sweetness from them and it's got like a olive oily taste on the outside of the spinach which is fine but it's just not really I'm glad I didn't order okay I'm gonna try the espinaca salad I think it's better than anything else we've had so far the gazpacho or the uh, pan de tomatas um, it is warm but the, the, set, the spinach does, it's not wilted so it's not cooked for very long but probably just heat it up at a low temperature but yeah there's, there's some saltiness you can get the oil that Stephanie was talking about and just a little bit of sweetness from the raisins and the apple not much but just a little and uh, I don't know what the reduction is that's on there, but it's not bad. I'd order it again. And basically it's a little watermelon skewer with some um, microgreens and tomato. So I'm gonna get some of the, I'm assuming PX is balsamic. I don't really know. It doesn't really say. You get the sweetness of the watermelon, a little bit of the tomato from the tomato. I don't really get any of the greens. Again, it's not really my thing. It's a little fancy for me, I would say, even though it's really basic. But, eh. Okay. It's like a little salad on top where the tomato and the microgreens are. And it's got that saltiness. And then it's just fresh uh, watermelon underneath to get the sweetness. And so the sweet and salty, I actually like it. I like it a lot kind of excited about the mushrooms. I love mushrooms. They look like they've got a little rosemary and some salt and uh, garlic on top. It's definitely my favorite thing we've had so far. Um, the rosemary is pretty strong. I mean, I just had a whole leaf of rosemary in my mouth. But uh, the tomatoes are nice and like sauteed and I'm assuming like garlic or butter. I'm not garlic. Butter um, with garlic. Really good. If you like tomato or tomatoes. I can't talk. If you like mushrooms, you'll like it. All right, these are the stuffed peppers that have goat cheese inside. I was gonna order these if Brian did it, but I was trying to make sure we order different things. So we try it all, you know? I like that a lot too. It's got the nice like little smokiness of the pepper that they've charred, and, and then the soft goat cheese that's nice and creamy. Like they've, um, they've melted it a little, so it's like a little bit liquidy. So here we go with the uh, roasted red peppers. The goat cheese is very overpowering. It overpowers the taste of the uh, red pepper. And even this sauce, this is like a tomato sauce. They don't, they don't taste like, uh, they actually roast the red peppers here. It tastes like they come from a jar or a can. Because you can taste like, like, uh, like they've, they've been in vinegar. Let's see if I can cut off a piece without the cheese. Wow, they, um, it's got that canned taste to it. So I, I bet you anything, they get these out of a jar. Those are good. A little bit of a tanginess to them, but um, I like those a lot. You really get the flavor of the mushrooms and mixed with the rosemary. Um, good. Yeah. So we're gonna try the gambas um, al ajillo, which is garlic. It's got this little chili pepper in here, so I take a little bite of it. Spice it up a little bit. Making the perfect bite as always. Try the bread with the. Um, I'm gonna get some garlic on here. Good. All right. The shrimp is cooked perfectly. Uh, you get a little bit of the garlic in the oil. Getting that little bite of chili pepper right before it really gave me some heat. Um, it tastes exactly like the chili pepper that you get on a that crushed red pepper for pizza. It tastes the same. Um, and mixed with the bread, I like it. I like it a lot. All right. It's a little messy with my hands. I probably should have used a fork, but you know, classy over here. They're tapas. You can eat them with your hands. 
I like it a lot. The garlic makes like a, it's a lot of garlic on there, so good thing we're married because no one would want to be near my dragon breath. But I love garlic and that is covered in garlic and it's delicious. The shrimp, I'm not a big shrimp person, but um, you can't even taste it with all the garlic, so it's a win. Paella. Yeah, it looks wonderful. They gave this giant spoon, but I don't think I really need that. I'm just gonna eat off the, I guess you're supposed to spoon it off the plate. Yeah, I think it's just to serve it. Well, I'm gonna just serve myself. Yeah, just go dig right in. I'm gonna get a little of this white mystery sauce. Yeah. I don't know if I should trust it. I feel like the rice could use a little salt, but it's got good flavor. The white sauce reminds me of a mayonnaise. The vegetables in the paella though are really nice and tender. The sausage is good. There's not uh, like any spice or anything in it. Um, everything overall is pretty good. It's kind. Of, it does have a fishy flavor to it, and the only fish that's in it is shrimp. So, but overall, it has a good flavor minus the shrimp. All right. So I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna try and get a little bit of everything on the one bite. Brian's got a bigger mouth works. than I have. Yes, I do, I, and a bigger head. Oh, you're smart. I was just gonna try to come, <laughs> shove the whole shrimp in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is like a garlic aioli. So I'm gonna put some of that on there. Good. Um, everything mixes together really well. Um, not one flavor stands out. If anything, it might be like Stephanie said, the uh, the fishy flavor. But I think what that is is the shrimp. I think they use like shrimp shells to make like a stock, and they cook it in that. But um, I like it. Like I like it a lot. It's, it's pretty good. And with the aioli, like oh yeah, I love garlic. The garlic on anything, but yeah, I, I like it. I'd order it. Okay, so I'm gonna try the flan. Give me a little orange piece here. Scoop some whipped cream on there. Doing it the classy way. It's in an orange liqueur. And um, with the orange and the, the, the whipped cream, it's very orange. You get a lot of orange flavor, which I love orange. So it's really good. And the flan is nice, light and fluffy. It's not like real gelatinous, like sometimes at restaurants you get, it's like almost they use like jello to, uh, to to mold it. This is not at all. It's good. And the next dessert is the chocolate, what's it called? Con con chocolate. Bread with chocolate. Ooh, the bread is nice and soft. Look at that. And there's another layer of like chocolate at the bottom. Yeah. The chocolate is really rich. And it's got some salt in there to so get that, that salty and sugary sweetness mixed together. I just love that. Like, whenever I make chocolate chip cookies from scratch, I always put extra salt in there to get that salty, sugary flavor. I love it. Get the perfect bite. The orange of horror is actually, to me, pretty strong. But the custard itself is nice and light and fluffy and the whipped cream is really good. You can see the vanilla bean in it and it's got the vanilla type flavor to the whipped cream. And it's good flan. I used to not like flan. I used to think it was gross and my dad would eat it, but uh, I find it delicious now, so. Oh, destroying it. I like that one much better than the flan. It's a, uh, I don't even know what to say it tastes like. It's the nice coldness from the ice cream and the mousse that's on the bottom and then the chocolate crumbs that are on top, the bread. I think it's delicious. I didn't try this little crisp on top. I was expecting that just to be bread or not bread, sugar, but it is like some sort of really thin slice of bread that they like coated in sugar syrup and then uh, caramelized. And that's 
Hands down, that's my favorite out of the two. Now we're done with our meal, and yeah. uh, everything was okay for me. Uh, it wasn't my favorite place in Disney Springs, so my favorite part of the meal was probably the uh, mushrooms and the bread, the, the pan con tomate, and the dessert was amazing, but uh, everything else was just meh. Yeah, um, I was surprised. Um, the paella was pretty good. I liked it. Uh, the first two things that I had, I didn't like. The gazpacho wasn't that good to me. Uh, and then the pan de tomate was not that good to me either. Uh, but I really liked the shrimp with the garlic. That was delicious. The, des the desserts are amazing. They're really good. And um, I wasn't real big on the rellenos uh, just because I don't feel like they roast them here. I think they're jarred. Um, I'm trying to think of what else we had. I like the mushrooms. Salad. Those were good. Oh, I like the spinach salad. Like the that was really salad. good. I'm getting wet. So, um, yeah, so overall, I mean, it's okay. It's, it's a good experience. I would say maybe like a six out of ten, something like that. And I don't know if it's because it's on Magical Dining, so they do like individual. It's normally tapas style, so you order like multiple things. But on Magical Dining, you get a selection menu of five different things. Um, I just feel like I'm leaving a little hungry, so i got to get one of those Gideon's cookies. <laughs> The elusive Gideon cookie. We got an hour and a half to wait if we want if we want one. Yeah, and that's more because we put our name in first. Brian ran to the restaurant. I ran to Gideon's. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. Overall, it, it's okay. It's resort food, so it's it's high priced, and there was a lot of things I think they could have done uh, from scratch that they didn't. But uh, not bad, not bad at all. But we have good service, and yeah. inside the atmosphere is nice. So yeah, the atmosphere is really nice. Uh, but so to wrap it up, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, share with your friends, uh, and we will see you in the next one. Yep. Bye, guys. Have a great week.